All right, guys, I got my draft hat last night. So this is the Las Vegas 2020. So you can see it's the 940 version. They got a couple different styles. So I ordered it during the draft, so last Thursday. So it took a week to come in, or right under a week. It's pretty cool how it has the logo. And it's a snapback. A nice hat so one week's time if you were thinking about getting one it's pretty cool i mean this 2020 part really you can see how the embossing is i don't know if that's the right way but the stitching real thick that's cool and i also got my duntov mug in it took a while for it to come in so it's my raiders 1967 so it's the light gray so that's they didn't have silver so that's the silver and then the black you can get the mugs on my on my channel. If you go underneath one of the videos, they have them on the description. Under the description, there's like a merchandise bar, and you could order them from there. They come from Teespring. That's the company, so they do everything. I'm not involved in shipping them out or you know making the shirts or anything like that. So if you need something to drink your coffee or your whiskey in. That would be greatly appreciated. It helps support the channel. And then, of course, this was I got it off RaiderImage.com. A pretty nice hat. This is like the first official Las Vegas Raiders hat that they released. Hello, Raider Nation. This is Duntov. Today I'm at the Raiders Allegiant Stadium. It is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. So I'm standing on the north end on the Hacienda Bridge. So I was here a couple days ago and we could see they actually got a lot of that scaffolding down. And then you could also see all the guys up inside it there, taking everything apart. I don't know where they bring the pieces now. Before they were, they on the top they had like, they were putting them in something, but. I'm trying to see where they're gonna put that. I see how they took off that big piece. I don't know where it went. Yeah. I still can see them doing some work up on the top at the other side. hurt by having to hold that up like that all day. Maybe they're waiting for glue to dry. I'm sure they're not. But... My son's looking at me. He thinks I'm crazy with my corny jokes, but he loves them. So this is gonna be a long process getting that down because there's just so much to it. And you gotta remember towards the base it's four four sections thick. You know, just to give it that stability to keep it from falling over. Looks 
like they had the forms up before. You can see them there. So some people say water feature, but now I think it's these areas here are going to be like planters. Some of the renderings they got the plants in them. Thanks for the comments. I got a few stating that. So it appears like they're taking them forms down now. I'm not sure what they're working on though. They get, it looks like styrofoam. You see this guy over here carrying a piece of it. sure what they're working on over there. Then you can see on this other side right there they got that dirt in. And those will be the stairs going up to this main entrance on the north side here. If we keep going over they got the Northwest End. We're working on these planter areas here. See all the forms. So over in this area, can't figure out what they're working on, but this will be where all the legacy bricks are gonna go. Oh, he's got the big auger. He's digging some, put some post up. But all the legacy bricks are gonna be in this area here. I know a lot of people are asking about Raiders logos, and there probably aren't gonna be any on the building itself. But they will have right in front on the ground a big giant logo on the ground in this area that's where the legacy bricks are going to go around it and then i'm sure some of the signage along the property will also have it but allegiance allegiant airlines they bought the rights for the name and it's no different than t-mobile arena down the street T-Mobile names, you know, on it, and there are no Golden Knights signs on the building. They do put some of the wrap on the windows once in a while. It'll show the Knights, but it's not part of the you know, what they paid for. They got this big crane here, this orange one. I was just trying to figure out what they're lifting up from here, but. I can't see, can't make it out. So we're gonna walk down this east side and we'll see what's going on over there. All right, now street level. This is on El Davis Way. You can see up top this is where they were just holding up something working up on the panels in there and then we got a little different view of the guys taking this stuff apart
think you just see the better look of the finish inside. It's, gonna, it's really going to change the look of this place without all the scaffolding. And then we'll be able to see through it a little bit better and hopefully get the check out, you know, see the torch and stuff better through the glass. Now that they took down that interior cam, you can't really see much going on. There are a few people that post some interior pictures. Just Google it. and I'm not sure how it works. I see them on Twitter once in a while. So there are some people that put some videos and pictures. I know they're not supposed to. It has to be the workers, but they still post them. So search twitter search the allegiant stadium i'll bet you you'll see some interior pictures they're getting a lot of the seats in they're starting to put seats on the first level so check it out you can see the video boards on the north end that are in and but they're out there it's just not my material to be able to use it like to put in my videos because I don't know who's posting them, so I don't have permission. So go check them out. Alright, I'm going to go walk down the east side. We'll see what that crane's lifting. And see what else they're doing. They were doing a lot of, like the bollards and all that. I think they were putting the concrete on the other day. So we'll see what's up with that. All right, we're still on El Davis Way, right on the north side. Still trying to figure out what they're doing with the styrofoam. Not sure, but. watch these guys they're just they got to pass down all the stuff I'm trying to find them in the viewfinder so each piece it's like an assembly line I think they'd have some way just to have something like like a lift that would go up and be able to load it, but they're passing each one of them pieces down. It's starting to get windy over here. All right, I'm still working my way to the east side. All right, this is on the corner of Dean Martin, close to L. Davis Way. Just showing you all the different angles of the scaffolding. staged on the different levels to pass everything down. Cranes. 
doesn't look like they're doing anything with that big orange one. So we're gonna walk that side. All right, we have this big drill here. So on the ground here, they got the big X marks the spot. So I think they're gonna draw out something and maybe put this, you can see this big piece of pipe in there. So this is right by the entrance on Dean Martin. So I wouldn't be surprised if they put like a big Raider sign or a marquee or something right here by the entrance. That's what I'm guessing. All right, the guy just got in this big orange crane. See him in here. Oh, they're just lifting up a... They just got these boxes to get stuff up and down off of the roof. We look over here at the they're laying out more forms to get ready to do some more concrete work around the exterior of the stadium all right so they just took off the one box that one up to the roof man. There we go. We're working up on the roof. Alright, if we look at the bollards, they got all the concrete footers put in. Or not all of them, but they did a lot of it. And thanks for all the comments about the drains, those plastic things over here that I was showing one of the other videos. So it like goes between the concrete and it'll drain out. I should have figured that because my pool has something like that in some of my concrete. Not that big though. all the rebar they put in for all these forms. side right by this where the video board's gonna go so if you look at it before they had all those the cables going across I only really see a few things tied up here so you can see a few of them different like cables hanging around there's only a couple left over there, so I think that's what they were working on to get it all strengthened up. And all the main area, they're all gone now, so I would think after they clean these up, you can see how some of these are still like dirty. Like this one here. I wouldn't be surprised if they start cleaning all that steel up and putting the media mesh in. And if anyone's wondering, they haven't fixed the dented panels yet. You can see that's that's the most noticeable one that I've ever seen. It's not fixed. You can see 
see all the cement work still going around the right the outside edge of the stadium. If we look down this way, they're still putting up some major forms and rebar and stuff down. Right there. Alright, so it's only been about five minutes. So they loaded that already up, unloading it. I thought they would somehow just dump it over, but I guess not. That's a rare sight up there. Don't see there's not that many planes flying in and out of town anymore. They used to be like every 30 seconds. Waiting for the governor, he's supposed to talk, give a speech tonight at about 5 p.m. our time. He's gonna say his time frame for opening this town back up. And the way he was talking, they're not gonna open the casinos up probably until the third or fourth phase. So I have a feeling this is gonna go on, at least for the hotels and casinos until June or even July. Hopefully it's not that long. All right, here's another view of the board. And then down this way, down towards where the Russell Road is, where they had the office buildings. They're getting that pretty leveled out. You can see that if you go on the Raiders live cam and then click on the north view and you'll be able to see it so they still haven't put the uh, sidewalks in yet on Russell Road they got the forms up but still nothing so if you'd like to keep getting updates please subscribe to my channel Raiders1967 and I also got shirts and mugs in my merch bar down underneath the description. If you'd like to help support the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. So Raider Nation, stay safe and thanks for watching.